Welcome! In this video, we will look at some tips and tricks using Bluebeam. The first tip is to utilize the My Tools tool chest. This provides quick access to products or tools in Bluebeam without having to search multiple places for them. To add items into your My Tools tool chest, simply locate an item. Then click and drag and drop it into your My Tools tool chest. Next, draw your attention to the markups list. Notice the seven fixtures stamped on this floor plan are all grouped together. To add or remove from the group, begin by right clicking on a product to bring up additional options. Here you have several options. Selecting delete will delete the entire markups group. Selecting delete product from group will only delete the products selected. You can resume count which means you can continue to add products in the same markups row and you can split count which separates the selected product and places them into a different row. Split all separates each product in the group into its own markups row. Let's click on split count. Notice the Fenary fixture we selected is now on a different row. This is handy for organizational purposes say if fixtures are in a different room or floor. You can also select a product and change its properties. Let's click on the hybrid keypad at the entry to the master bedroom and click on the settings icon. Here you'll notice information such as who placed the device and a short description. You can also alter the product's appearance on the floor plan. Notice the hybrid keypad when I modify its size by changing the scale. Now let's say you want to add the same dimmer everywhere the floor plan suggests a dimmer should be. Click on the search magnifying glass. Take a look at the legend on the floor plan. As an example, let's search for dollar sign D, which indicates where a dimmer should be according to the legend. Click search. Next, check the box to select all instances of dollar sign D on the floor plan. Or below, you can select each instance individually. Notice wherever dollar sign D appears has been selected. Now click on the Thunderbolt icon, click on Apply Count Measurement, and search for the dimmer you wish to add. This menu will appear, allowing you to select any device within the profile. For time's sake, I moved the dimmer I wish to choose in My Tools tool chest. Click on the dimmer you wish to add, and notice that Bluebeam placed a 6ND dimmer everywhere dollar sign $D was located. For more information, please view tutorial videos available on Bluebeam's website.